NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Frank, great golf course and great man behind it. Oh, it certainly is. Anytime you get a chance to uh, play the King's Golf Course in Arnold Palmer, uh, that is a pleasure. Hosted the Arnold Palmer Invitational for so many years now and always produces a worthy champion. Arnold Palmer bought it in the 1970s through the years, Frank. It wasn't unusual to see Arnold roaming the grounds, hitting golf balls, playing in that regular game. They call it the shootout. He's still pretty competitive. Oh, he is, that's for sure. Yeah, he'll sneak out there, do a little bit of practice beforehand. He does not like to hand over his $20 note. It's a tough golf course, Frank, with a really exciting finishing stretch. There's enough water there to uh, tempt the faintest of hearts, that's for sure, and also steal a dozen or so golf balls. And it's been the scene of some really incredible moments. I think back to Robert Gomez as a rookie holding out with a seven iron on the final hole to beat Greg Norman. Yeah, Matt Every won in 2014. Of course, Tiger Woods has literally owned this golf course, winning eight times. And uh, of course, the last of which was in 2013. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Had a birdie here yesterday in their close. Great opportunity for another one. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Player knows they're on the move with that birdie. Pushes Quick on glance at the leaderboard. They can see, Frank, they're not out of it. Things are very volatile right now. Three shots off. Now to the par for 11th, just a shade under 440 yards. Where are the difficulties here, Frank? The water down the left, but the hole keeps going that way, almost in a horseshoe fashion. Two bunkers down the right, they always catch the straight tee shot, but um, once again, you, you don't have to hit driver here. You've got to get that ball in play. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. That is classy. Yeah, a chance of going in. Birdie try again here today. Good birdie right there, moving to third place on the leaderboard. Frank, the par fives here at Bay Hill so important. What's the 12th like? 570 odd yards, uh, tee it high, let it fly. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Playing his second shot here at the par five. Driving it again. I think so. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Third shot, looking for a good one. Cody try up next. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Great shot to get the birdie. From behind. Frank, this is an interesting hole. It's a par 4 13th, and it isn't necessarily a driver off the tee. What are the options? Yeah, you break it down, 250 off the tee leaves 120. There's nothing wrong with playing the hole that way. You get a little over ambitious here and uh, run out of fairway. That second shot over water. Whoa.
Frank, not the longest hitter, but sometimes you win tournaments by putting it in a good spot, and that's where we are right here, 280 yards out. Yeah, 280 down the middle of the fairway. That'll never get you in trouble. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Birdie here yesterday. This putt again for birdie. Oh. Tough game, Frank. You can hit 300-yard drives and miss three-foot putts. Yeah, there's the ecstasy, and that's the agony. Simple, solid, and he'll take it. But one that you need to make. So through 54 holes, a really good position inside the top five with one round to go. Yeah, and those handful of players that we're looking at, Rich, um, they certainly have looked the best players this week, uh, which makes tomorrow look like a real thriller. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Welcome to the King's Palace. This is Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo, set to bring you all the action for EA Sports. Today, we're here at Arnold Palmer's Bay Hill Club and Lodge. Frank, it's right in the heart of Orlando, Florida. You've played this course before. What do you need to look out for? Ideally, you've got to hit the ball with a high, soft landing flight, which is uh, not, a, not a shot that most amateurs have in their bag. But uh, Florida courses, they differ from a lot of the other courses within, the, within North America. And what uh, they lack in change of elevation, they make up in difficulty by the use of water and very firm greens. It is a par 72 with a tough finishing stretch. Excellent start off the tee. That's a great way to begin this hole. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Yeah. Oh, just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. Made par yesterday. This one for birdie. What a birdie. Two time running out. Go. Couldn't have come at a better time. To within two shots of the lead. The Bay Hill Club and Lodge features a really exciting finishing stretch. 16 is a reachable par 5. You'll see eagles and birdies there coming home. 17, a very difficult par 3 over the water. The bunker is there. Takes an excellent shot. And then 18 is all you want. We know that with the water in front. That second shot, which comes over the lake. And that's a hold your breath moment. It is a great finishing three hole stretch at Bay Hill. Frank, this is a way to make golf easy when you can hit it that deep. Oh, I'm going to say, I know that first number's a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it 320. This one looks right on point. Can't hide the flag stick from that man. Another one inside of five feet. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Yeah. 
Yes. One or two more like that, Frank. They're going to go from third all the way to the top. And no stopping. Don't look at Always like this par three, Frank. Par three, 17th. Let me amend that. I like watching the best in the world play it because it can be daunting, especially with the pressure ratcheted Jesus. up. When they have the tournament on, this green is brick hard. Um, a little bit downhill, that's about the only advantage you get. Here's to be what they call a commercial play, very solid. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good look at Purdy. Purdy try again here today. Had a nice Purdy on this hole yesterday. Oh. Good try. Just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for Pop. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Oh, right off the edge. Uh, just a fraction softer than it might have might have just turned in. Just a little tap in here. Damn it. Drop a shot in the 17th. It's not what I need. Not the best stuff we've seen today, that's for sure. Yeah, bogeys aren't going to cut it, especially when you should be making a move Three in the other direction. You know, Tiger was born on the same day as LeBron James, December 30th. And, and he's had his share of slam dunks, especially on the 18th hole here at Bay Hill. Yeah, he's just a perfect fit for the golf course. Um, you'd think every now and again he fares left, but he doesn't fear left at Bay Hill. Uh, we've seen his best golf over the years, over the last 15 or so years. To win there eight times, Nobody's come close to that. Ernie else, one of the great players in the world, has won it twice. Well, Frank, I just love this second shot here at 18. We've seen it so many times. We've seen some great moments, and we've seen some very unfortunate ones as well. It scares the living daylights out of even the best players in the world. Very skinny entry to this uh, crescent-shaped green on the left side. But if you go down the left, there's those two bunkers that, uh, that sort of stop you going too far left. If you go straight at it, there's another bunker towards the right. This is so much about, uh, are you swinging good? Do you have the shot? Now I've got to find out. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Oh my god, I thought I was going to do Just moving that much closer to the leader now, Rich. That'll put a wrap on our final round coverage for all of us at EA Sports. I'm Rich Second. Lerner. We'll see you Take next that. time. Still top of the FedEx.